Hello everyone, this is Ritu. Welcome to the next part of web automation testing using Selenium and Python. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can handle date pickers or calendars in Selenium. Calendar elements are the difficult one to automate on web pages. The typical example of date pickers we find on travel websites where we have to search for the departure and the arrival dates. So let's get started with the date picker. A date pick a date picker is a graphical user interface widget which allows user to select a date from a given calendar. It can be a simple text box which when clicked upon pop-ups a calendar and allows the user to populate that field with a particular or appropriate date. The handling of date picker depends on the type of the date picker we are using. The first one is a drop-down selection. This is the approach in which we have a date picker in form of drop-down. We generally see this type of date picker in the registration forms where we have to enter the date of birth. Uh, in this, we have three drop-downs for the name of date, month, and the year. When we click on that element, uh, element that drop-down appears and we can select our appropriate date from there. That date picker can be automated with the help of the select command. Next is the text input. This is the simplest one which allows the user just to type in the date they want to enter with the help of send keys. And the next one is searching for a particular date throughout the calendar. This, uh, this is the approach we are going to discuss in this tutorial. This kind of approach is like we have a list of the date pick, uh, elements of the dates and we search for our particular date in throughout that list and when we found that um, date we click on that element now let's go ahead with the help of an example to see how we can automate the calendars i'm using make my trip travel website here you can here you can see there are two dates departure and return so when I click on this departure date element, it opens these two particular calendars. Now I can choose any of the date from here based on the data passed by any external file or JSON file created by the user in which he or she kept all the dynamic values. Suppose I want to choose 14 July from here. For that, I need to navigate through these months and year. Need to click on this arrow button till I get my desired month and year. Now I get July 2022. Now we need to write something which can control the selection of these dates. And how we can do that? We simply need to find out the element that represents all the date elements. When we inspect the date, any of the date, when we inspect, you can see there is one common element this class day picker date which represents all the date here as you can see even in the next row this element is common to every date field so we need to target this so let's jump to the code and see how we can do that So this is our code. I will uncomment it line by line. The very first thing is to import WebDriver from Selenium. Importing the time to introduce time gap between the steps. Initializing the driver here. Going to the URL of makemytrip.com. Maximizing the window giving time slip of three seconds to let the page load completely. And this is the path for the login button. And here I'm performing click operation on the login button. Now, why this step is here to click on the login button? Because when I go on this page, I'll show you on a fresh page. This popper will appear every time when I freshly load this page. Just to remove this popup, I click on this login button. When I click over this, the popup has removed. To, for that removal, I clicked, uh, I clicked on that login button. Now the time gap again. 
this is the path for the departure date this is the path for this element here is the click operation over that element again time gap of two seconds and this is the date which we are looking this is our departure date and this is the month year which we are looking for July 2022. Now what I'm doing here, I'm putting a for loop here whose range is 12. Why this range? This range is for this arrow. It can click only by 12 times. Till uh, only for one year, uh, the circle is for one year till April 2023. So I put the range for 12 times and what I'm doing here this is the path of the element sorry this is the path of this element I'm uh, picking up this element with this text with its text and storing that value into the month Every time when I click on this arrow, the value of this element has changed. And what we are doing here, we are storing its value into month and here we are comparing it with our desired value that is July 2022. If it equal to this, then it will perform this operation. Otherwise, it is not equal to July 2022, then it will go on the as part and perform the click operation over the arrow button. Suppose when I first click on this arrow button, first click on this arrow button. Yeah, when I first click on this arrow button, it goes the get the value June 2022. It compares that June 2022 with July 2022. It didn't match. So it goes on as part and again, click on the arrow button. Now the value is July 2022. It compares with July 2022. It matched and then it will go on this part and it will break that loop. It will come out of that loop. Now focusing on this part, what we are doing here. As I said, we need to target this element class day, picker day. I kept all the elements whose class is day picker day into a list that is day two. Now day two is a list which contains all the elements, all these elements from June and July both. Now what I'm doing next, I'm putting a for loop here. I is a variable which will iterate through this list. It will iterate through all the elements. And what it will search, it will search for it's one of the attribute who's containing its value. It will search for the area label attribute and will compare with its uh, with our desired value. That is Thursday, July 14, 22. So it will iterate through day two and if I don't get attribute area label is equal to our value, then it will perform click operation. If it doesn't get, it will keep on iterating through the list. At the point where it gets this value, it will perform the click over that element. There's some time gap. This is for my convenience that I have printed clicked and it will break the loop and come out of the red loop. So now let's run to see that selection is working correctly or not. Yeah, make my trip. Now it will maximize the window. Now it will click on login button to remove this pop-up. Yes, it will click on departure. Yeah. Click on arrow buttons. We click on 14 July. Now the date has been selected successfully. Now to select this return date, 
suppose we have selected hot in July. Now to select this return date, we need to do the same steps, copying all the elements into a list and then iterate through that list with the variable and uh, to select that um, attribute, sorry, to compare that attribute area label. Suppose our return date is 3rd August. So its area label will be Wednesday, August 3, 2022. So we will copy this value. It will be our desired value. So I just copied this thing here. This is the path for our return date, this element. It's a click operation here. This is our return date, 3rd August 2022. As we click over here, we need, need not to navigate through this. So we can remove this part of comparing month year with our desired month year. So we can remove this. We just do this part that we target all the elements with this class element day picker day and store all the elements into a list day two and then iterate through that list with the help of I variable. I variable will search for the attribute area label. If it is equal to this, it will perform the click operation over that. And we also need not this thing. We only need the break. Now let me run again. You will first click on departure. Search for 14 July. Select it. Now it will click on return. Now search for 3rd August. Yeah, done. That's all. So this is the only code that you will basically requiring to select a date. So this is the one of the approach that I generally used. There might be a better approaches that will definitely be a better approaches. Try to think out of the box, not just refer the thing what teachers are basically teaching. There always be a better way to work out. So if you have any query regarding this code or regarding this tutorial, please leave a comment below and you can also email me on the this email contact at the rate and thanks for watching. Have a nice day.